The city of Crosby is beginning a new era of its government as Bob Novak was appointed mayor on Monday following Jim Hunter's resignation. Clayton Castle tells us what Novak's plans are for uniting Crosby once again. The city of Crosby has seen a lot of turmoil in recent months following the March arrest of then-Mayor Jim Hunter on three felony charges. After Hunter's resignation on August 25th, the city council appointed Bob Novak as mayor this past Monday. Novak says Crosby is divided and he will work to bring the city back together. Focus on the city instead of on individual interests and problems. And why not try to bring Crosby back together? After all, there's a lot to be positive about in Crosby. Uh, we have a lot of new businesses. We have new people moving into town. We're getting a great reputation from the, well, ar around the nation for sure on the, on the biking in this region. With the city deeply divided, Novak will also work to repair the image of those working in City Hall. Get the city's business back in the forefront and concentrate on trying to make the council work as a cohesive unit. Uh, to, to help us focus on the business of the business. Despite the challenges that lie ahead, Novak says he is excited and looking forward to serving Crosby as mayor. At the end of the next uh, 14 months or whatever it is, is to have people tell me that uh, we've done a good job as a council and that the city has turned its focus back on running the city properly and that uh, People are more or less content. Mr. Novak's term as mayor will run through the end of 2018. Reporting in Crosby, Clayton Castle, Lakeland News. The process now turns to accepting letters of intent for the open council seat, which was vacated by Novak. The city will be accepting letters of intent through noon on September 22nd. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.